Hello guys and welcome to this grease pencil animation tutorial in which we will practice using lattices and shape keys with a grease pencil object to open and close these theater curtains. So we have this half curtain here that's just a 2d grease pencil drawing and we have three layers we have the mu with a blend of the white to have this blending effect with the background and then we have these lines made with brushes and then we have this fill that acts also as a mask to mask the edges of the brushes here so that they don't spill from the curtain and then we will add a lattice so we do shift a lattice and we have this 3d lattice and we go here under its settings and we change the v here to one so that we change it to a 2d grid and we increase the number of lines horizontally to five and vertically to five two we are in front view we can maybe hide the camera and with the grid selected now let's resize it s and try to fit it to our curtain gx and move it here s to resize it x to resize it just on the x axis yes try to have the same length from here and here so g again x hit shift to make your movements slower and more precise then again sx and to try to fit it to the edge let's try to fit the upper and lower sides yes z this time yeah it looks fine now let's go back to camera view zero i want now to parent the curtain to the lattice so we select the curtain shift select the lattice Control p set parent to lattice the form now we go to the lattice settings under shape keys and we add three shape keys one two three so the first one is the basis the original shape of the lattice the second one will be named drag because when we move it to open it or to close it the lower side will always drag behind we name the second one width because we will also want the curtain to be narrower when it opens now we select our lattice and we go to edit mode tab and you see that we can't add shape keys in edit mode that's why we did it in object mode so we select the drag one and we will create a distortion in the bottom and make these folds here wider so we select this point here and we do o on the keyboard to enable this one proportion editing and we do G X to constraint on the X axis with the middle mouse button we increase the size of the influence area and be careful not to move these upper points here we want them to stay at their place so again G and maybe move it further I said X also to constrain it I want now to flatten it a little bit here so we select this point G again let's lower the influence and like this maybe here too G and always beware of these points make sure not to move them nice I think this is good now we select the width shape key and I want to make the curtain narrower but I don't want this side here to move what we can do is select this point here do shift s to move the cursor the 3d cursor there so cursor to active then we go here and we change from median to 3d cursor with median if you select all the points and resize it will resize from this point here from the middle of the lattice but when we change to 3d cursor sx now it will move like this let's disable proportional editing so again sx maybe like this here are our shape keys the original shape the drag shape and the width shape let's go to object mode tab again and we will start animating so i want the animation to start from frame 12 so i go to frame 12 let's select our drag shape key and here in its settings we have minimum and maximum the minimum can be zero and the maximum one so that the shape key goes from the initial shape to the deformed shape that we created or we can have even more distortions so if we change the minimum to minus one and the maximum to two now we can distort the shape even further than what we created and we can even have the inverse distortion so in frame 12 we will start with zero we will just add a keyframe here and then let's go 24 frames forward let's go here and put plus 24 enter so now we are on frame 36 we will add another keyframe 
I will do the same for the width sheep key. So I add a keyframe here and then go back, lower arrow on the keyboard and create a keyframe also here. So again forward, we want to get the curtain narrower here. And then we go back to the drag and here somewhere in the middle i will increase the value here to maybe one or maybe more if you want and now we have this animation now from 36 we go forward 12 frames plus 12 and i will duplicate the keyframes from here so you select these two shift d Put them here go forward 24 frames again plus 24 select these two shift t duplicate them here so now we have the opening and then the closing and somewhere in the middle again with the drag this time we lower the value to minus and we have this animation so the curtain will be pulled from the top and the bottom will stay behind and drag and when the curtain closes again it will get pulled by the top and the bottom will stay behind a bit and then comes back here i want to add a little bounce also to the end so i will go a little bit forward maybe here i think i will increase the duration to 90 frames and here i want to take the drag this frame here and move it here and here I want to make it get forward and then bounces back to this original state. So here we increase the value like this and we have this animation. Back to frame 1, we select our curtain. We can either duplicate it using Shift T or using Alt D. Using Alt D will duplicate it linked and that means, let's do X to move it like this here. That means that if you make any changes on either one of these objects, the changes will reflect on the other object. This is handy for me because I want them to be exactly the same, but if you want different writing, for example, on each of them or different colors, it's you will have to do shift D and then edit each of your drawings separately. So we have this and then we duplicate the lattice. Let's do shift D this time. Escape. And I want to mirror this new lattice. So I do control M and to mirror it horizontally we do X enter G X and move it here. Let's try to fit it again. G X again and fit it to the edge. Now we select our curve shift select our lattice control p set parent to lattice the form ah there is an error the existing lattice modifier is already using a different object so let's select our grease pencil object go under modifiers i think i should just change here because we already have a lattice modifier from the one we duplicated we change here to the new lattice hit play and see if it works yes it works fine so now i want to go again to frame 12 let's select one of the lattices do either a right click and do insert keyframe with k inset if you are on blender 4.1 if you are on blender 4.0 or ender you just do i on the keyboard if you are on blender 4.1 you do k so i would do insert keyframe with k inset and choose location we only want to keyframe the location of the lattice so we have a new keyframe on frame 12 now we go to frame 36 we we can hit the upper arrow on the keyboard to go to this place here we do g x and move this guy here just outside of the camera frame now we do the same for this guy here right click insert keyframe with k inset location i will duplicate this one to frame 12 so shift d duplicated here and here again we move g x and move it outside the camera view and try to match the same distance with this one so so now we have this animation and I will go next here. We duplicate this frame and then here we duplicate this keyframe. Shift T. We do the same for this lattice. Select this one, Shift T. Select this one, Shift T and here inside and then out and then it stays out for this interval and then back in. Let's disable overlays. I have also some sound effects here and their video sequencer i just disabled them before let's enable them so this is it guys if you want this file it's on gumroad for one dollar thank you for watching leave a like see you in another video and
Peace.